Hey everyone, this is Faze, and welcome to my channel where we discuss all things tech and EVs, especially Teslas. If you've been subscribed to my channel, then you probably already know that I'm a proud owner of the Tesla Model X. I've been driving it for over a year now and absolutely love it. You can check out my full review in the link above or in the description below. I've driven the Model S sedan as well, which is just as great. Both the Model S and Model X are absolutely wonderful premium vehicles. With remarkable range and breathtaking acceleration, the Model S and Model X really stand out. Whether you choose the dual motor version or the tri-motor plaid variant, these electric vehicles boast rapid charging capabilities as well. Though I absolutely love the Model S and X, they're obviously not perfect. They definitely have some things that can use some fine tuning and tweaking. And in this video today, we're gonna go over five ways Tesla can vastly improve both the Model S and Model X, so let's jump right in. Point number one, make them more luxurious. Both these Teslas are great looking cars. They have a cabin that feels like it's lifted straight out of a futuristic movie, especially with the yoke steering wheel. However, being in the premium category, there's great room for a touch of more opulence. While the technology being used in the vehicles is wonderful, the materials and build quality warrants a conversation. In fact, many customers are already experiencing quite a bit of wear and that's simply not acceptable. Enhancing the upholstery and trim materials would immediately uplift the car's ambiance. Think premium leather seats, premium vegan leather seats, with detailed stitching in a palette of deep luxurious colors. High-end touches such as authentic wood or carbon fiber details on panels and dashboards would infuse sophistication. And after seeing the new Model 3 refresh, they should definitely add the ambient lighting as well to liven up the interior which also makes it more personalized. I've reviewed the electric EQS SUV from Mercedes-Benz and it feels so much nicer and luxurious. It's a joy to sit in and Tesla really needs to give more bang for the buck when it comes to luxury. After all, Tesla should epitomize class. Point number two, reduce weight. But I know, this is not just a Tesla issue. All electric vehicles often grapple with the extra heft due to the weight of the batteries. Despite the Model S and X's commendable performance and range, their weight can impact handling, agility, and drive dynamics. Trimming their weight could boost its nimbleness, especially in urban settings. This would simplify tasks like parking and moving through congested spaces, enhancing the drive overall. And I know, hoping for a lighter EV, especially when its batteries alone weigh around 1,200 pounds, might be a tall order. But a forward-thinking approach for Tesla would be channeling resources into research and development to devise lighter battery solutions. For example, Toyota is already developing solid-state batteries that are expected to deliver more power and decrease the charging time. With the kind of resources in their hands, developing batteries that weigh less and deliver the same output should not be impossible. Point number three, improve autopilot. No car manufacturer at the moment has championed the self-drive concept as fervently as Tesla. Their autopilot system has literally transformed what once seemed like sci-fi movie magic into reality. Yet with great power comes great responsibility, or should I say with great innovation comes great substantial risk. You see, several Tesla models, including the X and the S, have faced recalls due to safety concerns linked to the autonomous feature. Tesla had to recall about 362,000 US vehicles to update its full self-driving beta software following a warning from NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The NHTSA flagged that the software occasionally allowed vehicles to surpass speed limits or navigate intersections unpredictably, elevating crash risks. Addressing this autopilot challenge, a standout feature of the Model S and X can further elevate the vehicle's reliability and appeal. Point number four, automated front trunk. A feature universally desired by Tesla owners, regardless of their model, is an automated front trunk. While you can pop it open via the in-car display or the app, manually shutting it feels kind of out of place. For a vehicle packed with state-of-the-art technology, manually closing the front trunk seems like a step back, especially when competitors like Lucid offer a simple button-click solution. With the Model S and X especially being the price that they are, it's crazy that an automated front trunk is not already a thing. It's a feature that I genuinely hope Tesla integrates soon. And last but certainly not the least, point number five, reduce price on add-on features. Tesla doesn't come cheap, and that's putting it plainly. The Model S and Model X are already premium, making them inaccessible to many EV enthusiasts. And then there are the steep costs for extras. 
want to upgrade from the standard wheels to the bigger and more sportier ones, that's an additional 4,500 to 5,500 hours. Fancy an interior shade other than black? Well, prepare to shell out another $2,000. Oh, and that futuristic yoke steering? It's a whopping $1,000 now, which is ridiculously overpriced. And let's not forget enhanced autopilot and full self-driving capability, priced at $6,000 and $12,000 respectively. Plus, Tesla will bill you $475 for a wall connector and $230 for a mobile connector charging device. So beyond the base price, there's much more to budget for if you're eyeing the Model S and Model X, which like I said before, they're already too expensive vehicles. At the end of the day, both the Model S and Model X are two of the finest electric vehicles out in the market. There are definitely way more positives than negatives, but if Tesla can fine tune some of the things that I mentioned in this video, they can go from great to greater. But the question is, what do you think of the Model S and Model X? What would you like to see Tesla implement or improve? So as always, comment below, let me know. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button for all things Tesla and EVs. And I'll see you next time.